today is just a super quick tutorial on how you can make a blurry background for your stories or whatever you want it for and make text stand out on top of it just to mix up your game a little bit and maybe make some more interesting stories. So let's jump into Photoshop and let me show you how it's done. All right, for this tutorial, we are jumping straight into Photoshop and let's just make a new file to begin with. So we wanna make a story. And for that, we are using the aspect radio of in pixels uh, 1080 by 1920 that's the story resolution that you have so now we are having our blank canvas and i will just drag in my photo that i exported from lightroom i exported it in the right size already so i just exported it with the long edge as being 1920 so that's how you can do that now i just show you how to make this blurry background really fast so i just duplicated the layer and i'm just going to call that blurry then we go up to filter then we hit blur and gaussian blur and now i like to put it up pretty high but you can see that you can just do it slightly i like to do it around like the 40s because i think that gives a really nice like soft look so we have our blur here and to make sure the text stands out because it's still slightly bright i'll just make a new layer by clicking down here and go to hit G or go to my bucket over here and make sure that my color is set to black or white for that matter. Just click on this one if you need to reset it, make it black and then set the opacity to something like 40%. Maybe that's a bit dark, so maybe we can go like 15%. I usually go between like 10 and 40%. I think 15 for this one is pretty good because the photo is a little bit dark already when we do this. So just to show you what we quickly did, we duplicated the first layer, then we added Gaussian blur to make that very blurry. And then we added a black layer on top to make the opacity and made the opacity 15. And what you can do is let's just duplicate this layer call this one for black this one white and this one gray just to show you different options so if we want a gray one we can just choose a gray color somewhere in the middle and do the same thing then it's slightly brighter and if you do the same thing with the white one then we just switch these two make it white and now we have a white one so we just see it's slightly differentiates what you have. Uh, I usually go with the black one because if you then choose to use a T and use some white text, hello world, it's black right now, but if you make it white and maybe make, maybe make it a little bit bigger, drag it in the middle. You can also do that by holding down our blur and click up here, put it in the middle. And now you can see that it stands out a bit more in than if we just had the black uh, one removed and just had the blur with the black one as well you can more easily see the w and this is an easy way to put it into your stories you can either put the text in here directly or you can just use the stories that you normally would um, sometimes i use this as well if i just created a photo that i want to post so we have our hello world but we could put the text up here we could say new post instead and then go in and find a photo let's say we want to put this photo of a rice field in here make it a little bit bigger put that in the middle like so and what i did there is just to highlight both of these by hitting clicking the first one clicking command to click the black one it just has to be one that fills the entire image i clicked v to select the select tool up here which gives me the options to now align so it just aligned them in the middle and then we can go back to our text click that hold down shift means that it doesn't move from side to side and now you have a pretty cool background for let's say that photo you can put your post share that and put that behind put this one on top and then you have a pretty cool way to make a story so that's just a way to show you how to make this kind of blurry background with your photos super cool and i think it looks quite interesting i do it a lot so that's just a tip for you as well i hope you learned something i hope you liked it I hope to catch you in the next one.